Welcome to You for Change Incorporated presentation on the Voice Schools debate format now adopted as the Liberia National High School debate championship format organized by Youth for Change Incorporated through the Ministry of Education. Let's get started. Every debate needs emotion. And every motion is that essential or continued accession that forms the basic for a debate. For example, a motion might be this house believes that it is better to be smart than to be kind. Or this house believes that the United Nations has failed. In today's presentation, we will emphasize on a specific and very common debate style used in many countries, including the Orit Africa Debate Championship and the Voice Schools Debate Championship. Debate, this debate style requires two teams in every debate. One argues that the motion is true, which is the proposition team, while the other argues that the motion is not true, which is the opposition team. In WSDC, now the Liberal National Debate Championship, the proposition team is normally referred to as team government, while the opposition team is referred often to as team opposition. Each team is made up of three to five players. Only three of the five players are expected to play a given match. Each of the matches are made up of three substantive speeches and one reply speech. Each substantive speech, that is speech number one, prep, speech number two, speech number three, I all eight minutes each. Why? The reply speech of every team, both team government, like I said earlier, and team opposition, are four minutes each. Every team have the opportunity to oppose his opposing team by asking questions in different speeches known as point of information. Point of information from here on will be known as POIs. And POIs are the technical interruptions and questions. It should be asked more, not more, than 15 seconds in every speech. Point of information is that unique portion of the Roy Schools Debate Championship. Let's move to what the role of the team on Roy Schools Debate Championship should be. Roy School Debate Championship or the Liberal National Debate Championship format carries now the three players. Each team, team preposition, is responsible, number one, to prove the burden of the advancing on the motion. That team, that is team prep or team government, also has the responsibility to define what the motion is, outline what the debate will be, must be clear on both sides of the argument. That side of the team is also responsible to present a solution to what the motion has argued, to the specific case being argued. There is also a need that the proposition team present their substantive arguments as they go about the presentation. Opposing team, that is team opposition. Team opposition is responsible, one, to cast a doubt cloud on the presentation of team preposition, to redefine what the motion is, or accept the definition provided by team preposition. 
they are also responsible, that is the opposition, to present substantive arguments on the side of their case. They are also responsible to either accept, challenge, or broaden the definitions of the debate. They must also outline a counter model on what they think could be the counter solution to team's preposition argument. The speaker order in boys' schools debate, now Liberal National High School debate format, is that team prep is the first speaker, one, next to team up, one, Team prep second comes, team up second comes, and team prep tear comes, team up tear comes. At the fourth speeches, that is the reply speeches, team opposition now speaks before team preposition. That is, the speaking order goes with team up coming, going, but at the concluding stage, team up concludes before team up, I mean team prep comes to conclude their argument. Now, understanding who has the authority to present new materials in the argument. The first two speakers on both sides of the team, team opposition and team preposition, have absolute right to introduce new arguments in the presentation. Why? The two second speakers have opportunity to introduce new argument, but with some limitations. Those arguments must be directly supportive of the first speaker's argument. The third speakers of the both team also have the right to introduce new arguments, but their arguments is far more limited to just case studies and analysis in expanding the scope of the debate. Now, let us understand a little more on each of the different speakers' point. Why and how will you be judged as a team? So each of the team will be judged in three basic categories. In the Liberal National Debate Championship format, three categories are used that are star, content, and strategy. And what does it mean when we say star, when we say content, when we say strategy? Star is that portion of the debate that deals with how content is being delivered, not judging common of English language. So it doesn't take into consideration what type of language that is spoken. How engaging and persuasive is the speaker that is the body language that is being used in the different debate in speeches that will be delivered. Key things or key practices to look for in star are one eye contact, reading, gestures, stance, your voice modulation, your speed, your clarity, and your mannerisms. These are things you take into consideration in star and adjudicators in the Liberal National Debate Championship will look at this key to grade a speaker in the category of star. Let's move to content. What is content? Content deals with what is being presented. Content evaluates the quality of material as if written down. It covers not only written, but it covers both written and rebuttal arguments. If an argument is weak or poorly developed, it takes away point from both teams. Let me be fast to highlight and underline that bad arguments can win a debate. Negative motions, when debated properly, can give a side of that team, whether team prop or team government, the edge or team up rather or team government, the edge to win a side of the debate. That, that is what the content is. What is then the strategy? The strategy is as well very key
to you understanding how you can win a match. The strategy is with what kind of mental use to present the content. Always, it includes the interpretation of the motion, the relevance to the motion. It also takes into consideration always, even when it is not executed properly. Teams should always engage with their opposition. That is strategy. It is very, very key. There must be engagement at all aspects. The first speaker of team preposition absolutely do not have any space, any time to engage. Apart from the first speaker preposition, all other speakers have the right to rebut arguments as the game goes on before presenting the substantive of the argument. Coming back to strategy, POIs are also very important point of strategy. How the POIs, point of information, point of inquiries, are delivered, are answered to, are dealt with on the stage. Because the speaker on stage has the authority to decide what that POI will be to done with, whether acceptable or rejectable. We also need to understand that on the strategy, it is key that teams should be earnest and fair in their strategy, both in framing or in responding to their team's opposition. To emphasize on what engagement is, it's important to bring to you this scenario. As first speaker preposition, you have absolutely no space. Nothing has been said, so you have nothing to report, nothing to engage. Right from the first speaker opposition, you have a huge burden to outline every single major argument provided by the first speaker preposition. And you must be able to engage on every single argument. That engagement means you must have a counter solution to every single statement or every single key point. So technically, it is not everything that will be said, but in preposition, you will want to counter argue. Because their argument will be aligned in at least three or four points. You are team opposition, when you come up, before even redefining what the motion is, before providing your counter model, you must be able to engage and diminish every single major argument. Why do you think the adjudicator should believe that the presentation done by the first speaker should not be taken into consideration? When you are done with that aspect, then you move to redefining, if need be, or accepting, if need be, the definition provided by the team's, uh, the, the preposition team. Let me inform you that you can accept a definition that does not mean you have accepted the substance of the argument. A definition could be holistic, for example, if the topic or the motion is on the Constitution. Both sides of the debate will have the Constitution definition as the same definition of what a Constitution is. But the substance of how the Constitution can be applied, that is the substance of the debate. And that portion is where you will disengage what your points are. When you are done with redefining, you engage and present a counter model. What then is your counter model? Your counter model is that and counter mechanism you propose, counter solution you propose. And that solution must be in a more organized format. You must be telling us how, you must be telling us why, you must be telling us how, in what way that particular model can fit and how it can be, can, can be accepted into society. 
Again, let me underline that Liberian National Debate format that you will be using shortly, that format takes into consideration two different words. We have the word of opposition, and we have the word of proposition. The word of proposition believed that they are defending the motion. Like for example, the motion I spoke about, the United Nations has failed. That word of the proposition believed that the United Nations has failed. And they will be telling us that the United Nations intent for being established has not been achieved, taking into consideration wars, taking into consideration economic conflict, taking into consideration every other missed and, and dissolution of the world that they have seen. And that is the sole purpose of why the United Nations was established. When you come now to opposition team, the opposition team believes that in their world, the United Nations has not failed because peacekeeping missions has been assigned to nations, and even Liberia is a case study of that, and it has been successful. There have been aid given to many countries through the United Nations. They will be telling in their world where the United Nations has not failed, the United Nations has been into so many different humanitarian, and that is the two different worlds. So we will be clashing words of how two different societies believed they can exist. That's the essence of this format. So it is not necessarily about you memorizing. It's about you trying to engage, trying to attack, trying to be able to not have a parallel debate. And what is a parallel debate? A parallel debate is that kind of debate where I broke up four points. You had a four point already written that is possibly different from my four points. You don't care about the substantive I raised or the issues I raised, but you went straight to running to your debate, sir, and just outlining your four points or outlining your three points or outlining your two points and not having any issue to do with my own three points. That is a parallel. When I also come up or when my second speaker comes up, that speaker also continue on the path I started with, ignoring what you said, ignoring what you brought to the floor, and just rolling with the debate. That is a parallel debate. It means two sides are going opposite to each other, and there is no point of contact. In the voice school, now the Liberal National Debate format, there must be contact, and there must be engagement. So that is what we say when we come to engagement, we come to model, we come to counter motion. That is what we are talking about. The Liberal National High School Debate format has been prepared into a corporate rating booklet by Youth for Change Incorporated. And you can follow up on Youth for Change to receive a hard copy of that particular booklet to have a full download or evaluation of what the World School Debate format, now the Labour National High School Debate format is. Thank you very much.